Hey, how's it going guys? It's Zerai here. So today we will be going through all of the trophies that I have achieved of getting within the first Descendant. I want to say straight up front, this game took me a while to get. Even though there are only 25 trophies in total, so one is the Platinum, 6 Gold, 12 Silver and 6 Bronze, by my goodness, this game is a very, very big grind. Nevertheless, that is actually being made by Nexon Games, but yet published by Nexon Korea. It's also a free-to-play game. Yes, this means that there's a lot of things that, well, perhaps could make this whole adventure a lot shorter. Because even though this game is free to play, you can actually make a lot of things, of, well, purchase a lot of things, and you can cut out on a lot of grind within this game. I chose not to do that, instead I have played through this game completely for free and I did everything without spending a dime. Quite proud of myself but nevertheless it did take me a quite a while. I'm thankful of the way that this game is actually quite good and yet also it did not prevent me from just simply stopping and giving up on the game and instead I prevailed and I got the platinum trophy. So the first trophy I have achieved of getting by the name of Ready to Move On. Complete Retrieve the Iron Heart Operation and Return to Alpion. Basically, it's the very first trophy you gain from completing a little part of the story. Next up, is this how you insert it? Equip a module for the first time. Very simple thing, you'll be doing this quite a lot within this game. And basically, as long as you equip the module, it's a part like a perk that you can get within this game. And when you do so, you'll get this trophy. For sweep operation, complete all available missions and descendant duties in Kingston. You'll get a lot of these sorts of trophies. By completing certain areas within the first descendant, you will get these trophies. Quite a few of these similar trophies you will see as well. Preemptive strike for the future. Complete a void intercept battle for the first time. So, void intercept battles are basically main bosses that you'll have to fight within the first descendant. There are quite a few of them, but it's only necessary to do about half of them, more or less. As long as you do complete them, they will get a lot more challenging. And mind you, it will be quite significant that by the time you reach Dead Bride, you'll know who I'm talking about. Because, well, if you're playing this game, I'm sure you got stuck at that point. The Sensible Life of Research. Complete research for the first time. It's basically going to a specific character or a person and basically crafting some of the equipment, components, even characters. And when you do so, you will get this trophy. This is the part where it also can get quite scummy because you can actually bypass this research, well, if you pay your real money. Out of the weapons, dismantle weapons 50 times. You will be doing this a lot, because unfortunately the inventory system within this game is quite limiting. This means that you can actually make a real life purchase, make your inventory much larger, but if you don't want to, like I didn't, well you'll be dismantling quite often. Hope within the dust. Complete all available missions and descendant duties in the sterile land. Like mentioned already, you'll be getting a lot of these sorts of trophies. No hope for the Volgus. Obtain an ultimate tier weapon. Ultimate basically considers to be the tiers that are the best. And there's also ultimate characters such as the ultimate descendants and of course ultimate weapons. They are quite unique, they have unique perks and they look quite awesome as well. Ready, extract, complete. Level up a weapon through weapon transmission. Actually, this trophy, I got this more or less of an accident because I just wanted to see how this will perform and work and I got this trophy nevertheless. It basically allows you to level up your weapon. Knock knock, who is this? Complete all available missions and descendant duties in Vespers, like already mentioned. Basically completing one of the part of the areas and you'll get this trophy. Special Operation Task Squad. Clear up to Wave 7 in the Kingston Albion Resource Defense Mission. There are way more waves than 7. Nevertheless, you basically have to go through this defensive style mission. It's very simple, especially if you have somebody that can carry you. Now, if you're strong enough, you can get this done as well, even by yourself. Still, it's a little bit more recommended to play this with people. It still is awesome the way you can actually play this whole experience by yourself or with the groups of people and perhaps even your friends. What was always expected? Reach level 40 with any descendant. As the description implies, by leveling up one of your descendants, you will reach level 40 and you'll get this trophy. Modules Maketh Descendant. Expand a descendant module capacity. 
This actually was more of an experiment as well. I wanted to use this for my bunny character. Then you will expand the capacity within the descendant. So this means it will allow you to gain and have more perks within your character. So obviously it will be a bigger advantage for you. This reaction say first, enhance a reactor for the first time. Again, this was more or less of an experiment I wanted to try and I got the trophy. Growing a possibility, enhance the weapon unique ability for the first time. Yet again, similar thing, I wanted to experiment and I got this trophy. And combining to boot, combine modules seven times. I did this on purpose just to get this trophy. Nevertheless, after like playing an additional 15 hours, I still ended up using this feature quite often. Execute order 77, dismantle module 77 times. For this trophy, yet again, same thing I did, basically dismantling module 77 times, because you will end up doing this quite often as well. This is great, sevenfold. Enhance any module to plus seven. Basically, it tells you to enhance one module to plus seven, well, seven times. Very easy, as long as you have a lot of components and a lot of things that you can use to enhance your modules. Good things happen twice. Successfully remove colossi parts two times, excluding retrieve and the iron heart operation. Basically, as long as you go to the void intersections, there are going to be big bosses. As long as you keep on damaging specific parts of the bosses, then they will glow yellow. You can go up to those specific parts of the bosses and you can break their shields. You do this twice, you'll get this trophy. Very easily done. Power. Oh, infinite power. Reach mastery rank level 10. Main way of actually gaining the master rank level 10, there are actually a few ways. The way I did it though, is by simply leveling up my different descendants. I did it on my second or third different descendant, as long as you can reach on um, maybe two or three descendants up to level 40, you will get this trophy. And of course, master rank level 10. Place for something special. Expand the module capacity of a weapon that uses special rounds. This was more of an experiment and also because I wanted to get this trophy. And nevertheless, I got it. It was not very difficult. I can see the future for the Colossi. Complete 10 Void Intercept battles. As long as you keep fighting pretty much even the same boss, you will get this trophy naturally. It's not difficult. Descendants. Assemble. Own 5 Descendants. It really depends how you want to make this grind. Easy, short lengthy it really is up to you i just decided to go with the five descendants that are easiest to get and uh, nevertheless over some time i managed to get it and the last trophy slot maketh module assign module socket type 10 times now this trophy is ridiculous on top of that it is a little bit glitched as well so what you have to do is collect 10 crystallization catalysts and you actually have to build them but for that, they require four to five different components. And for each of these components, you have to do a lot of grinding. And on top of that, you have to collect 10 crystallization catalysts for you to be able to get this trophy. And you have to do it all at once. If you don't, this, tr this trophy basically becomes void and you have to begin from the beginning. I have to tell you, this, uh, this trophy alone took me an additional, maybe what, 20 hours? Ridiculous. A lot of times, a lot of points in my moments, I was just really considering, why am I even bothering with this? Do I want to do this? I really hesitated even continuing playing this game many times over and over. But I still prevailed and I managed to get this trophy and I'm glad about that. And of course, this means I got the Platinum Trophy, the true descendant obtaining every trophy in the first descendant. Honestly, I did not expect that I would be going for the Platinum Trophy within this game. I definitely have actually enjoyed my time with it. Quite a surprise, in fact. As you may already know, know me, I love third-person perspective games. This game is a little bit of a treat for me. And especially, like I already mentioned, many times over and over again. I wanted a Destiny. I wanted a Call of Duty replacement. And this game kind of got that hook in me to some extent. Initially, when I was beginning to play the game, I enjoyed it. Continuing on, I noticed how repetitive this game can be, and I started to kind of dislike it, but I prevailed. I continued on playing, met a new, few new people on Discord, they helped me out as well with intersecting of these void bosses. It was very tough, but they always helped me out, and I actually kind of got the love to game. And it was incredible, I loved this game at the end. And yet I continue on playing, I just even without even paying attention to these trophies and just it kind of gripped me. I have really have enjoyed my time. Now, honestly, 
I want to be honest. After I got this platinum trophy, I don't think I will be coming back to this game any longer. Now, unless if there's going to be extra additional trophies for like, I don't know, expansions or DLCs that could possibly be coming for this game. Now, again, if they will even have these extra trophies, I can't say that I will be back. But by the time I have played through this game, I definitely have enjoyed this experience. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. See you guys all and have a wonderful day.